Today's episode, we'll be talking about the right uppercut, and when thrown correctly, can be an extremely effective punch. Hi, I'm Pat Barry with Barry's Boxing and Fit Builders, the YouTube channel that helps build fit people. The right uppercut is an awesome punch. It's a power punch. It starts from the balls of your feet, as all of your punches should start from the base of the floor. You pivot and rotate, bringing your hips around, bending your knees, and following through with your sh shoulder and arm. And the fist should carry all the weight of your body on its contact. Okay, so with us we have EJ Carrillo, and he's going to demonstrate, help us, show you the proper form and technique for the right uppercut. EJ gets in a basic fundamental stance where he's comfortable and his weight is distributed between his left leg and his right leg. Just by the slight bend of the knee and a dip in the hip, he can transfer the weight to either side. In the beginning of the right uppercut, you're gonna transfer your weight to your rear leg, which would be EJ's right leg, Slight bend uh, in his knee and a little dip in his right hip. His elbow in nice and tight, close to the body. His right fist is up there, covering the right side of his chin. Pivoting and rotating, excellent. Turns and pivots on his back leg and his front leg as well, pivots with the heel coming into the inside. He brings all his weight up through his body and by turning the hips, perpetuates the weight up through his upper, upper chest out through his shoulders and his arms, out through the fist. Very good, EJ. Let's see it again. Bend your knee, dip your hip, and let it rip. There you go. Can you do it again? I know you can. There you go. And then when you do it this time, stop at the end of it. Just stop. If you see, on when he finishes, he's in perfect position. His, his left shoulder came back, and his left fist covering the left side of his chin and his right shoulder, as following through with the right uppercut, has come up and is, is covering the right side of his chin. So the defensive position is, is, is perfect. He's thrown the shot, whether he hit his target or he missed, he's in great position now for one, to defend himself, which is most important, and two, to come back with another offensive uh, blow. Okay, so here we are joined with EJ Cabela, and he's gonna show us the right uppercut and hopefully the right way. <laughs> Come on, EJ, nice form, nice technique. Bend your knees, dip your hip, and bring that arm around in a circular motion. There you go. And you got your left shoulder brought back around with your left hand covering the left side of your chin. Upon completion of the punch on the follow through, the right shoulder, the right elbow is gonna come around and cover the, the right side of the chin. Follow through, all the way through, there you go. That's exactly right, all the way right through the body. It's a circular motion. There you go. One more time, half speed, good. Okay, now you wanna pick it up to uh, real time and show the people what it looks like when you're actually throwing that punch. There you go. Maintain good balance, sit your butt, there you go. That's nice. Bend your knees, dip your hip, and let it rip, buddy, come on. Let's see. One more time, there you go. It's an extremely potent, powerful punch. There you go, perfect. That's it, okay, that's it. That's the proper, bend your knees, dip your hip, let it rip, very nice. So that was our segment on the right uppercut. And remember, if you liked what you saw and you saw what you liked, please like, share, and subscribe so that we can continue bringing you these types of videos. And remember, this is Pat Barry with Barry's Boxing, where we teach the science, not the violence.